Our special guest on TCM Today is Ron Zaidman, President and CEO of Five Branches University in Santa Cruz and San Jose, California, one of the top traditional oriental medicine schools in the country. Welcome, Ron. Thank you, Frank. I'm glad to be here. Ron, what is the current state of TCM education in the U.S., and what are some of the career opportunities? The state of education in traditional Chinese medicine in the U.S. Uh, has come a long way. The education is now presented by accredited colleges such as ours, and there's 55 of them in the U.S. And the colleges present a master's degree, which allows you to get licensure in the state where you live and also to take the national exam. And now we've taken it to another level, which is the DAOM, the Doctor of Acupuncture in Oriental Medicine. And that's a specialization course that you can take once you're licensed uh, to go to the next level of the medicine in acupuncture and herbal medicine. And universities such as ours are also doing a joint PhD program with Chinese universities. And that's the highest level. The career opportunities are excellent because a student with uh, an, an AA, two years of college, uh, can enter the three to four year uh, program and get their master's degree and then get a state licensure. And the field is expanding. More and more patients are looking for acupuncture and herbal medicine and alternative medicine uh, to complement the other medicines that they're also seeking. So we see this growing trend in integrative medicine and combining al uh, alternative medicine, especially acupuncture and herbal medicine, with uh, Western medicine. Ron, can you tell us more about the DAOM program? Yes, the, the DAOM does emphasize clinical expertise versus uh, PhD type of research. So the emphasis in, in the profession is let's create the advanced levels of education that are applicable to the patient and to the clinic. Is the training in Western medicine part of the curriculum in the DAOM program? Uh, at the doctorate level, and, and already at the master's level, but especially at the doctorate level, we're looking at integrative medicine. So uh, we, the presentations on every aspect of medicine, from cancer to diabetes, always presents both medicines, so that the practitioner knows how to use both medicines for the benefit of the patient. And finally, Ron, where do you see TCM in the next five years, ten years, and what relationship will it have with Western medicine? Forty years ago, traditional Chinese medicine, meaning acupuncture and herbal medicine, uh, especially acupuncture, were illegal in California. And today, it's a licensed profession, and the education is done through accredited universities. In the next five or ten years, I think we're going to see a continuing growth in the, in the field. Uh, there have been two surveys done uh, by some MDs at Harvard where they found that 50 percent of the Americans are using alternative medicine. And they also traced how much money was being spent on this and the trends for that. And that's been a very growing trend. And the amount spent are very large. It's uh, $27 billion. So what I see in the next five or 10 years is a growing trend as patients are looking for natural medicine, for safe medicine, and for effective medicine. And as they find out more and more uh, what TCM can do for them. Another thing affecting the trend is that MDs are discovering the benefits of the medicine because their patients come in and have improved in their condition. And when the MDs talk to them, what else are you doing? Uh, they'll report that they'll be doing acupuncture or herbal medicine. So now they're getting more educated as to uh, what this medicine is doing and how it does it. And so we're, get, we're seeing many more referrals from MDs who want their patients to get the benefits of this medicine. Thank you for being our guest on TCM Today, Ron Zaidman, President and CEO, Five Branches University in San Jose and Santa Cruz, California. Thank you, Frank. I'm glad to be here. Next, treating low back pain with acupuncture. But first, this. <laughs> 